Hey guys, Evil Mr. Alex here with a start to a new video series. In this series, I'm basically going to be looking at all the badges in the game and pretty much explain extra important details you may not know about them. So for the first video, I'm going to be looking at one of the most basic and first badges you get in the game, Marathon Man, and first blood because they're both basically the same kind of badge. So what is the Marathon Man badge? The Marathon Man badge is a badge that basically increases your sprint duration time. So if we're looking at the end game result here with gold Marathon Man badge, it should be double the amount of sprint. How to uh, unlock this badge you basically just run just run forest run you, you run and you ride bicycles that's it's pretty easy you do it all the time in every match and when you'd use it eh, you'd pretty much use it if you didn't have any other badge unlocked it'd be like your uh, first badge you get unlocked and you'd put that on you'd have 30 or 50, 60 percent more sprint duration time, and same thing with first blood. That would be the very first badge you'd actually get, and that would help you unlock the first marathon man badge, and then you'd probably run enough to get the second one, and then you'd probably have uh, more useful badges at that time. Let's see what it looks like with and without the badge on the same setup. Another thing is, the less stamina you have, the more it affects the sway of the gun. The amount of sprint in a setup is shown by this bar at the top here. This bar determines whether you will have a short or long duration of sprint. How this bar is affected is by the types of weapons you use. For example, as far as a main weapon goes, the submachine gun has the most stamina. Rifles and assault rifles will have medium stamina and LMGs will give you the worst stamina. One of the setups that I like to use has Marathon Man which provides a substantial amount of sprint making it a good setup to assault points with. This setup consists of a submachine gun with a set of nades perfect for full-on close quarters combat. So I have a few uh, extra things just to mention here. So did you know that when you pick up uh, a gun off the ground, you take on the weight of that gun? Have you ever tried putting a knife or a 
pistol with no pouches on a setup. It weighs absolutely nothing, so you can have a longer sprint time with either of these two weapons. Even both at the same time, doesn't matter. Marathon Man, how it works exactly is it's not 100% added on, it's 100% of what your current sprint build is. So if your current sprint build is, like, say, 6 seconds, then it'll be double. It'll be 12 then. One last thing here is the amount of weight you carry can affect the amount of spawn time it takes for your character to actually spawn in. So if you're carrying, you know, an LMG and a bazooka, that'll take you the most amount of time to spawn in, opposed to a person just using a, a pistol. That'll take them basically no time at all. First Blood is useful for maybe the first half hour or so, until you get uh, way better badge options, and it basically becomes obsolete due to the fact that Marathon Man is practically the same uh, type of badge but provides more. Marathon Man is a great badge for starting players and can make some uh, decent builds, but has its limitations and only provides somewhat flexible characters. So as far as overall usefulness, I give First Blood Badge about a 2 out of 5 stars and Marathon Man 3 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, you like this kind of idea for a video, stay tuned for the next episode. If you got any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, I'll just, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.